Cowess's First Nation is pleased to be part of the emerging renewable energy sector here in Saskatchewan. Cowess's started its renewable energy journey back in 2006 and partnered with the Saskatchewan Research Council to install wind monitoring devices. The anemometer was installed for a full year and the wind data was collected. The results of the wind resource assessment verified that yes, in fact, there was viable wind conditions to justify investment in this particular site. The Saskatchewan Research Council has an amazing team of technical staff who conceived our project concept in 2009. The research goal for the project was to show how a renewable hybrid energy system could be used to provide a continuous electrical output on demand compared to a standalone renewable energy system. In the first phase of the project, we were able to show that a battery uh, reduced volatility of the wind turbine by 78%. As well, we could dispatch 400 kilowatts of power twice a day, which is equivalent to about 170 ovens coming on at breakfast and supper time. As well, it has the ability to produce 200 kilowatts continuously for almost uh, 11 hours. Renewable energy fits within our values of Cows' First Nation people. It fits within our economic self-sustainability plans that we do moving forward. And it fits within this province with their mandate of 2030 being 50% renewable energy. This project has been a learning experience for us. It has given us the opportunity to move forward and play a role in green energy development. But economic self-sustainability isn't just about solar panels, it's about creating employment. It's about getting our university students to get into engineering, to get into science, and come here and work here and to build off of it. So it's projects like these that we show our people that we have no limit to what we can do in university, to what we can do in school. So we need more of our people now to use these projects when they're in school to say, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a scientist, I want to build renewable energy. Construction of the turbine started in August 2012. All earthworks and foundation activities happened that fall. All efforts were focused on preparing the site for the delivery and installation of the turbine. To add to the complexity of the project, the turbine erection and the nacelle lifts were planned for March, which turned out to be unseasonably cold and windy that year. The site was fully commissioned on May 10, 2013, and the project secured a 1 megawatt, 20-year power purchase agreement with SAS Power. The site had been operating successfully for nearly four years, when Cowessis, SRC and McNair started evaluating the site and looking at what additional potential it had. Immediately, solar energy was the answer. The new project was to integrate solar energy with the battery storage system. In August 2017, Cowessis was pleased to be granted funding from Western Economic Diversification. This was the kickstart that the project truly needed. In September 2017, we issued a request for proposals to the solar industry, and in the end, we selected Skyfire Energy from Calgary. This project for us is, is uh, incredibly meaningful. In addition, we're, we're, we're connected here to an existing uh, 800 kilowatt wind turbine, as well as a, a soft lithium ion battery bank. So, uh, you know, the progression of renewable energy to involve storage and integration with wind, uh, this is really on the leading edge of, of uh, of, of solar technology in, in Canada. Over the course of eight weeks here, uh, me and the guys have become a very close family and we work well together and we motivate each other to get this project done very efficiently and so it looks very good in the end. Starting this project, we started with post pounding. We had to go survey the, the land and then pound the posts in. Next step came the racking where we had to hire more guys to give us a hand. The racking then involved a larger crew we then went on to the solar panels, adding all the solar panels, and then now we are to the wiring and wiring all the AC and DC sides of the system. At Cowessis, it is very important for us to build capacity within our community and our people. As such, a large part of our contractor selection was the willingness of the contractor to hire Aboriginal labour. Uh, we were able to hire uh, five First Nation members, um, one of which was a journeyman electrician. My name is Corey Lavalley. 
I'm a journeyman electrician from the Kauza's First Nation. Now I'm usually the guy that's coming in and fixing the wires, cleaning them up, making it look nice. I haven't had any experience in solar. This is actually my first project I've ever been on. Me being from Kauza's and actually having Kauza's start this has been great. It's not just great for, for Saskatchewan or the First Nations community, it's great for the next generation. Everybody has been very motivated to learn and to continue on in the solar field after a project like this one. Uh, we're really excited to be able to uh, you know, keep one of those First Nation members as a permanent staff member following this project. Since this college job, I have been offered permanent employment with Skyfire Energy and I am here in Calgary now training as an apprentice electrician. I'm really excited to be a part of this emerging industry. It's very powerful to stand in between the solar panels and to look around and just say, wow, Kauza's First Nation owns these. This is not just something that benefits Kauza's, but the whole world needs to start thinking green. If we want our children yet unborn to enjoy the same quality of life that we enjoy today. This project is just the beginning. We have our eye on much bigger projects, and we look forward to developing more Aboriginal renewable energy projects here in Saskatchewan. And today I'm very pleased to join with all of you to celebrate the completion of the solar expansion to the Kalasis Renewable Energy Storage Facility. We'll balance our priorities of keeping our options flexible and diverse while making sure that we provide clean, reliable, and cost-effective power to our customers. I think Kalasis is really paving the way for other communities to, um, to follow suit, so congratulations on that. We look forward to working together to make renewable energy a tangible reality in Saskatchewan's future. Thank you very much. Uh, this project should be celebrated, its story should be shared, and all of us should work to build on its legacy. Thank you. So on behalf of Kauza's First Nation, on behalf of the Council, on behalf of all of the good-looking citizens, <laughs> I just want to thank all of you for coming to take the time to come and celebrate with us. Mm -hmm.